He's back, Lieutenant Governor, who now is the GOP nominee for governor. I'll put up the picture full mass. He's back at it again. So Mark Robinson says demons teach children homosexuality. More past comments are coming to light from North Carolina. Uh, and this Republican gubernatorial nominee, Mark Robinson. Now, remember, he's already an elected official. Uh, he won the GOP primary. I, I find it hard to believe people in North Carolina are unaware of his tactics. So this time, during a July 4th celebration hosted by conservative coalition, North Carolina 2021, uh, he said <clears throat> that he would target basically homosexuals and transgenders. Uh, individuals in the transgender community. According to a video obtained by Citizen Media News, Robinson said, quote, I'm a little more concerned what's going on in our classrooms when you have these demons in there trying to teach our children about all this filthy homosexuality and transgenderism, trying to force it down their throats. <clears throat> um, okay, uh, Robinson, also claimed teachers <clears throat> were teaching students to uh, quote, hate America, hate policemen, and hate law and order, end quote. Robinson then defended Trump again. <clears throat> what came out of Donald Trump's mouth was just a drop in the bucket compared to trash that we see being forced onto our children. Uh, in 2022, <clears throat> during a speech to the Republican Party in Lee County, Florida, Robinson said, quote, we've been bamboozled in this country. So we got that television set turned on. Let me tell you about that television set. I need for you to go look in your Bible and find out how Satan came to earth. Satan comes to earth as an angel of light. Television is literally light particles broken down through the airwaves, come down and reformulate it. Where? Inside your TV. Have to sit up every day. Can't even let your grandchildren watch TV because RuPaul's Drag Race might pop up. Or sir, your face may pop up equally, okay? So uh, <laughs> let's keep this picture up for a second. Number one. Sir, you're on television while you're saying it. Like you're literally talking to people on TV, telling people that the transmission they're receiving is of the devil. So that's number one, all right? <clears throat> I don't know if you thought that through when you wrote the speech. Number two, television works by way of frequencies. And there's an argument in quantum physics that everything is an oscillating energy variable, goes back and forth, and at the very fundamental core, of existence is light, okay? Well, which includes the human body, it includes everything in the physical world, everything. Uh, but I, I promise you, sir, um, when the devil came to earth, it did not come by way of a television frequency, sir. I promise you that. And if you go back to the context of your scripture, when it says that the devil can transform into an angel of light, it was talking about truth. Light was representative of truth, it was saying that. The enemy can falsify stuff, make it seem legitimate while lying at the same time. Kind of like what you do, dear brother, for a living. All right, Robinson is alluding to a Bible verse, 2 Corinthians 11, 14 through 15, which is not about television sets. The verse warns that because Satan can pretend to be an angel of light, that those who practice evil can pretend to be righteous followers of God. You never know, some of them may even sell Bibles. The Bible passage does not say there is any technology behind any of this. Uh, and to take it to another level, if you're not a person of Christian doctrine, faith, or, or if you believe in what's called expanded consciousness, um, look at it this way. So sometimes what is represented as a beautiful truth is actually a very ugly lie, which means you have to look beyond the presentation of a thing in order to find the nature of a thing. That's what it means. All right, wise new thoughts here.
I noticed uh, when you guys put that picture up, his footwear wasn't shown. Um, he's wearing tap dancing shoes, y'all. That's, <laughs> that's guarantee. what the man is rocking in every single photo because that's what he does. Um, people will remember who paid attention to this stuff, and I'm sure Dr. Richie does too, that North Carolina used to be considered the same Carolina. I know. Um, and then after 2012, after Barack Obama got reelected that the GOP down there decided that they weren't unhinged enough in their racism. Uh, quite frankly, there's just no other way to put it, that they've ratcheted that thing up in North Carolina. You know, they kind of started pioneering the, the, the voter suppression efforts. Like mm -hmm. these guys have turned their state into a, a bit of a racial hellhole in certain yeah. instances politically anyway. Um, but yeah, this this guy's a clown. He has no credibility. It's funny. Tim Scott being probably the preeminent black member of the um, Republican Party, um, he looks like Martin Luther King next to this guy. <laughs> Tim Scott basically buries his head in the sand and pretends that racial problems and iniquities don't exist. And, you know, he kind of carries on in some racial utopia. This guy's actively just playing boo-boo the fool. Yeah. He's actively just spewing the worst talking points of the Republican Party. And guess what, Dr. Richie? We can't be surprised. He's been rewarded for it. That's right. This guy is nominated to be governor of a state in Beyonce's United States of America. That's insane to me. Yeah, and according to a friend of mine who lives there, he may actually win, all right? Wow.